This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, January the 2nd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Looks like the forecast over the next week or so is going to be that one primarily of a temperature forecast. The surface map this morning features high pressure that is off to our west over Texas. Uh, that is allowing for a fairly uh, good northerly flow across the area, and that certainly kept temperatures down yesterday. And it looks like we'll probably stay down with temperatures climbing only into the mid and upper 40s again today. The upper air flow is becoming more of a northwesterly one across the eastern half of the country as we develop a bit of a long wave trough position, at least for a few days. Looks like that trough will be an issue for us through about uh, Tuesday when it begins to move off the coast and we begin to get under a more southwesterly flow once again. Temperatures this morning uh, are fairly chilly. Uh, much of the Tennessee River Valley is below freezing or at or below freezing. Central Alabama, most of the reporting stations are in the mid-30s, but some spots reporting temperatures around the freezing mark or slightly below. Radar is relatively clear across northern central Alabama, but we still have some very light rain along the Gulf Coast. QPF is uh, showing pretty much uh, the story for the next five days through uh, Thursday morning, and that is that the rain will stay off to our west. Storm Prediction Center has no thunderstorms outlooked for today at all. And on day two, they are uh, predicting a little bit of thunder possibly over the southwestern U.S. and across the Florida Peninsula, extreme southern Florida Peninsula. And that stays there as well as the southwestern U.S. for day three. All right, the 06E GFS model run, and I don't have much in the way of uh, European graphics, but the uh, 06E GFS model run and the European are actually in pretty good agreement when you get out to midweek. But there's our, our trough developing over the eastern half of the country, and, of course, that is bringing high pressure and bringing a, n a nice northerly flow at the surface over our area. The trough develops nicely on Sunday, and we have a little short wave moving through. That short wave is going to have very little, if any, moisture to deal with, so we might see some passing clouds. But you can see on the precipitable water chart, there's going to be very little in the way of moisture to deal with. So uh, the surface flow is becoming more, uh, and more and more northerly, coming all the way from the Great Lakes all the way down into the southeastern U.S. The trough stays with us on Monday, and Tuesday it moves off into the Atlantic. So Tuesday will probably warm up a degree or two, but don't look for a big change uh, as the high is moving over us, and uh, so the calm atmosphere will allow good radiational cooling so we're going to stay pretty cool but uh, Wednesday it looks like the southwesterly flow begins to take over once again and we see a little short wave coming out of that flow that little short wave moves by quickly but the second short wave coming out across Texas on Thursday looks like that could be enough that by latter part of the day and into early Friday will cause us some rain over the area, especially when we look at the surface pattern and we see that moisture is returned up into the lower Mississippi River Valley quite nicely. So it looks like probably the start of Thursday will be dry, but we uh, certainly moisten up fairly quickly during the day Thursday. Friday, we see another uh, little piece of energy coming out across Oklahoma, a little short wave, uh, and actually a bit of a closed low. Uh, that ends up with sort of a double-barreled low, uh, one over the southeast U.S. coast uh, with that first short wave, and then the second one coming out uh, on Friday, and that's setting up a surface low over Kansas and Oklahoma. Saturday, uh, a week from today, um, one of the things I note here is that the, the uh, flow aloft goes southwesterly. And what that means to me is that it's going to be very hard for a front to push through our area. The GFS, however, is suggesting that the front is going to push through. It seems kind of unlikely that the front will push through if that upper air flow is correct uh, because the front should become parallel to the flow and lose any real push. So we'll see. Uh, the GFS suggesting that Saturday could be dry. I'm not sure that, uh, but what we may have a front in the area, so we may still have some rain chances. Looking out into voodoo country, we have another short wave uh, coming across the lower Mississippi River Valley around the 10th of January. That morphs into a bit of a, a bit of a, a trough over the eastern half of the country, so that has a little bit cooler look around the 13th. And then when we get out to the 17th, we have another one of those uh, rather stout-looking short waves coming across the lower Mississippi River Valley. So the overall uh, message we're getting from Voodoo Country is that the pattern is going to remain quite active. Um, 
headed out this morning for Piedmont, Alabama, where Megan and I will be helping with the the polar plunge. No, I'm not planning to plunge. Uh, my mother taught me better than that. Uh, I expect to have the next Weather Extreme video posted here first thing on Sunday morning, at least by 8 a.m. or so. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.